morning and happy Monday. It's the 31st of January today. So it is the last day of January and I cannot tell you how excited I am for February. Um, I'm just really ready for a new month, a new mindset, um, ready to smash it. So I have been to the gym this morning and I did sort of like a five minute fast paced uphill workout i did a 15 minute run i believe um and i did a 10 minute bike workout and then i did sort of like a strength training a bit of like sort of like um resistance machines and leg resistance machines and i definitely went hard because it's really hurting to hold up the camera um, and my arms feel wobbly and my legs feel wobbly so I definitely did a good job at that um so yeah didn't really film much over the weekend or from sort of like my weigh-in certain sort of like there was a situation that happened on Friday um usually we have the kids sort of Friday night while sometimes on sunday sometimes on saturday um but we we had to go and pick them up early in the morning and they ended up staying until quite late last night i'm not going to go into too much detail with what's going on because it's not very fair for the people involved um but my sort of like lifestyle schedule where sort of like the kids are concerned is going to change slightly um the going to be spending more time with us so yeah things are going to sort of like change a little bit over the next couple of weeks but it's absolutely fine it's not going to affect sort of like my workout or filming or anything like that but it was just an unexpected sort of like change to the weekend so my plans and things that I had um scheduled just had to change slightly and that's that's what happens in life sometimes isn't it so um I did actually end up having an off track weekend, uh, like I didn't really plan for that to happen, nor was it sort of like an if, um, because of what happened or anything like that, I just, I just wasn't in the right mindset for, for tracking and sort of like um, weighing out my food and what have you. I don't know whether it's because I was thinking that I really wanted to go hard in February and, and sort of like in, implement new changes and just be a little bit more strict and things with myself. So I was kind of giving myself a bit of like a a final supper or something over the weekend um, because I knew come Monday, I really wanted to really go for it and, and not really use any excuses. So I don't know whether it was because of that, but for whatever reason, yeah, I was over calories and off track Saturday and Sunday and today um, I woke up and to be totally honest, I didn't sort of like really have huge amounts of motivation to go to the gym, um, but I just, I just said to myself, I'm not going to make excuses and I'm going to get up and I'm going to go. So hopefully I can have that mindset. <laughs> all the time throughout February. Fingers crossed I'm gonna try my very, very best. Um, last night I did sort of like plan out my week with work and when I'm gonna to go to the gym and what I'm gonna film. So I'm gonna try my very, very best to stick to that because I definitely work better when I'm on some kind of like schedule and I have some structure. So and that's good. I also did a bit of a meal plan um so i need to go pick up some groceries today i usually like to do it online however i just didn't have the time or the opportunity to do that over the weekend so it's okay i'm just gonna go go get it done today and stick to my meal plan so yeah today is a bit of like a bit of a random one i've got some work to do um I've got like some errands to do and I also want to spend a little bit of time um, filming some something that I have planned for like another video. Um, but I've just made myself a cup of free ginger tea 
um it hurts to even pick up my cup which is a good sign it's a very good sign uh and i'm gonna make myself i think i'm gonna have a protein shake i'm gonna make a protein shake with some water and then i'm going to have um either some bran flakes or some granola in almond milk oh by the way i also had a pre-workout before i went to the gym this morning as well i had the peach iced tea flavor and it was yummy it definitely gave me a bit more of a boost i used to find that when i was doing the c to 5k and i had a pre-workout it 100% it always helped me go that little bit further and had a little bit more energy um so yeah i really like them um if for those of you who don't know um, I do have a discount co code for Protein World, which is Weight Loss Panda, and that'll get you 30% off anything on um, Protein World's website. So whether you want to give the protein shakes a go, a go, or the granola, or the porridge, or the mug cakes, or the pancakes, or the protein bars, or the whey protein, there's literally so many products. There's something for everyone. I'll always leave a link to um, their website in my description just for ease so if you are fancying getting anything and you want a little bit of money off make sure you use that code um yeah so i'm a little bit i feel a little bit out of sorts i don't know why i think it's because i've got quite a lot to do today and i'm trying to stay like i'm trying to keep myself motivated and i really really want february to be a massive success for those of you who haven't watched my um weighing video from friday i did sort of like go into my february goals a little bit so i really want to lose eight pounds in february which works out at two pounds a week i'm not too sure how i'm gonna do this friday because of my off track weekend but i've got uh monday tuesday wednesday and thursday to give it my very very best just to give it my all and just to see so yeah i want to lose um eight pounds i want to have my um, exercise rings on my apple watch closed every single day so we'll see i'm just really i'm just gonna really try hard um throughout february so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna make my breakfast but happy monday all you love these. groceries we decided to go to a farm shop the one that we were initially going to go to was shut um so we went to a different one it's all shop <laughs> so i thought i'd show you what we got we've got a lovely bunch of carrots and i don't know why but i love when you get carrots like this with the stems are these stems are these called stems um roots yeah. stems not the roots are they roots the bottom roots stems bottom. yeah i guess they're the Stems of dew, isn't it? Yeah, I really like it when you get them like this. Uh, we got, well, I got a little bag of Belgian dark chocolate callots. What? Callots? Is that right? I'm not sure if that's right. I think it is. Have a look. Callots. Thank you. No, 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 no. Turn off the light. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Nelly for time. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it'd be nice to just sprinkle on the top of uh, my granola. You just saw whatever. a bit of reality with Maria there, by the way. What do you mean? <laughs> no, 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 turn off the light. 
Look, I see. Ah, oh, you're annoying, Jim. You're so annoying. Um, I've got some raspberries to snack on. I went to the butter dish. The butter dish was empty. Mhm. Mm Thank you. We got some butter later on from the co-op, as Jim's stealing now for his very nutritious lunch. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we got some Marge too. I oh, know these are sugar snap peas, which we'll be using for stir fry and possibly snacks. We got two lemons. I might actually make myself a lemon tea. Right, anybody pop quiz? She wore lemon. Who's that? She wore lemon. She bruised lemon. Um, Can you bruise a lemon? I think you can. Maybe not, actually. Bruise an apple. We got a leek. Love a leek. Love a love a leek. We got some really nice looking um, cherry vine tomatoes. Cherry me vine. Cherry me vine tomatoes. Uh, we got a punnet of mushrooms. We got a bag of spinach. These apples look amazing. I'm going to have one um, in a second. They remind the me The red of, delicious. Uh, snow white. Them. Yeah, they, they are very snow white. Mm, if you choke, -esque. that fly. I've been poisoned by a witch. Yeah. I need to put that receipt with the receipts. Uh, we've also got a red and a yellow pepper. They look the big, nice and big peppers. Usually when you get peppers from the supermarket, they're like the size of a tangerine or something. So it's nice to have decently sized ones for a chin. Got a sweetheart cabbage. Are you laughing at me in the background? Oh, I'm just thinking it's a bit extreme. It's just a lot bigger than a tangerine in it. But yeah, they are a bit, a bit <laughs> catty. Um, a sweetheart cabbage for my sweetheart. Sweets for my sweets. I'm in a very vocal mood today. When, when one of us is in this mood, we That's call me. each other the singing bush, don't we? We do, yeah. Right. Three and Amigos with Steve Martin, right, the singing bush, that's what that's off. Is it? Yeah. Oh, does anybody know, by the way, when people are in a vocal mood, I always remember, I'm sure it was Rainbow Bright or something like that, but there was like a little gold flying angel type <laughs> thing that used to go, sing all the time, and it used to be right annoying. From a children's television program? Yes, but I don't know where it's from. Someone yeah. will know. Let us know in the comments if you know. More, more specifically Jim, because I have no idea what it's on about. We also got some potatoes. Apparently Cypress potatoes. They look really nice. They had a bit of a interesting colour to them. It's I just the soil. Them. It's just the soil, I think, but they're like like a little waxy red potato and as far as I'm aware the smaller waxy variety of potatoes are better for you so there we go so after the farm shop we stopped at the co-op because um, Jim needed to go to the post office and there was a couple of things that we couldn't get from the farm shop I needed some noodles <laughs> thank you some noodles for a stir fry a stir fry sauce which I went with the sweet and sticky teriyaki by Yo, um, 50p, half price. The skeleton shops at the chop suey shop. No. <laughs> and some tuna, because I love tuna as a snack. Ugh, really high in protein. <laughs> 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 I nearly dropped it. Frankie goes to Hollywood. <laughs> it's really high in protein, really low in uh, calories, uh, and really yummy, so I really like two it. Two times. Um, and uh, that's it. I'm, I'm feeling a bit hungry, so I'm going to make my lunch. I'm going to have a protein shake and I'm going to have an apple. Um, and I might make myself a, a cup of tea with some lemon, but I well, just... I'm off in the cold workshop to do some physical work. I'm sure you will... Uh... So I am having a normal cup of tea, what I call a normal cup of tea. Yeah. And I'm having a cheese sandwich with some prawn cocktail crisps and a double decker, which is terrible, I know. But no. it'll see me through. Till when your lovely girlfriend makes your lovely homemade chicken and vegetable soup. 
two or three or four or five. Yeah, four hours, are I? Yep. You were a big fan of the soups last week, weren't you? Oh, massive. Raved about them. Which is good that you like them. Yeah. I was hoping you would because it makes my life easier because you're eating the same thing as me. Your soup's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you are the singing bush today. Yeah. Well and truly. Does anybody else like crisps in a sandwich? If you do, let me know what your preferred flavour of crisp for your sandwich is. It's always prawn cocktail. For Jim. For Jim. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go make my bre breakfast. I'm gonna go make my lunch now because I am rather hungry. doing a little bit of work um, for the last couple of hours. The last thing you saw was my incredible protein shake. Um, I added some squirty cream and some frozen strawberries to the strawberry and, cr strawberry and cream flavoured protein shake and it just made it taste like a dessert shake that you'd get from uh, like a restaurant really really yummy really ri ri ridiculously tasty in fact and it wasn't like much extra calories to add the strawberries and the cream so that's probably something that I'm going to be doing quite often because it was just such a treat really enjoyed it I have just poured myself a wild apple and cinnamon tea. I'm just gonna let that um, brew for a little bit and cool down. I'm actually, I've just gone really, really cold. Uh, it's a very cold day today, so I'm very excited for that to just brew for a little bit. And yeah, I can drink that in a little while. But I am just about to make a uh, start on dinner. For dinner this evening, I'm gonna be making another homemade soup. So yesterday, it's kind of becoming a bit of a tradition for us to have a roast chicken on a Sunday and I'm absolutely loving having roast chicken. It's so delicious, so low calorie, so high protein, it's just great. So yeah, we'll, we'll roast a chicken on a Sunday and have it as a meal and then Monday I use um, the leftover chicken to make soup and to also make stock and the stock actually goes on a couple of soups because there's plenty it makes I don't know how many in measurement but it basically makes four portions of soup so I have the leftover chicken and the first sort of like process is to sort of strip the the um, chicken of all the sort of like meat and then add the carcass into some water with with like an onion and um, some other vegetables and then sort of boil that on a slow steady heat for a couple of hours and then you basically um, remove the carcass and then sieve the stock so that you just left with the the stock itself and it's it's great it's really really good I'm really enjoying the process of sort of like cooking more naturally 
and being able to sort of decide what goes into my food. I definitely have sensitivities to sort of like additives and um, the things that get put into food to make them last longer, all them kind of um, artificial preservatives and whatnot. I definitely notice a huge improvement um, when I have a more natural diet so it's it's really nice being able to sort of determine what's going into my body in a more uh, like just cooking from scratch and cooking from fresh. I obviously don't do it religiously, it's not something I am super good at. I do still like my convenience and I still get a lot of packeted foods uh, but I'm sort of like going in the direction of having a more natural um, whole food diet so that is good. So yeah I'm going to drink my tea and I'm going to start making the stock. <laughs> just finished dinner and the soup was a massive hit. Jim really enjoyed it too so that's another recipe to add to the delicious soup making recipe list. Um, so I do have a couple of cal calories left over um, but I, uh, I have a very full happy tummy full of soup at the moment. Um, if I'm going to have anything else, I think it would probably be a hot chocolate. And if I'm being honest with you guys, that is a very likely thing <laughs> to happen. Um, I love to have a hot chocolate as sort of like a nice sweet treat after dinner. Um, these ones are 39 calories and if I have enough calories to allow, I will sometimes add uh, some squirted cream on top as well or sometimes marshmallows um however i don't have any at the moment uh so yeah that's a very likely thing that's gonna happen um my battery's flashing now so i'm gonna very quickly wrap up the video and show you that i have 29 grams of carbs remaining i have 10 grams of fiber left over i've got 29 grams of protein and i've got 308 calories i have shown you everything that i have eaten in today's um, video so I'll just go ahead and complete my diary and if every day was like today in five weeks I'd weigh 13 stone 5.2 so if you have enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already hit subscribe and I'll send you over some happy vibes um, and until next time's video stay happy healthy and well I love y'all bye bye